I'm on my way to pick up the chain, man. We're going on a road trip. I don't know, 25 miles maybe. Doc Beaver, he's going to the land of Nada, the northern part first, and then he's going to go back to the southern part. We got a, a halfway decent report from the southern part yesterday from one of the guys. But the ones that worked the other area didn't do so hot. So it's a different day. You know how that goes. Stand by for a road trip. Surf church. Well, we're here. I don't know what we'll find, but we're here. Stand by. I see a guy digging already. Stand by. Kind of muddy here. Like real muddy. <laughs> Stand by. Horse rat. Some type of clam. It's a third or fourth one I dug. It's like a soft shell type clam, but it's shaped like a salt water clam. Uh, she been saving these. I could have had me some supper. Damn. Stand by. More clams. I got a fair amount of change. Some pennies, some crap, you know. Stand by. 12, 12.04. Let's see what 12.04 is. I got two scoops off of it. Day too. Come out of there. Look at that tequila. Going south. How you make it out? I get a couple quarters, nickel, dime, five, six pennies. Not like me, I got five quarters, I think. Three or four nickels, a couple of bottle caps. I got a lot of screws. I got like four or five oh, yeah. long brass or oh, copper yeah. screws. I got no screws. About three pieces of gray matter. I ain't got no gray matter. One of them's that. It's got that stainless steel thing in a triangle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. talking about? One of those. Dog tag, part of eyeglasses. A lot of pull tabs. Yeah, I got some of them. Yeah, stuff like that. Most of the stuff, most of it isn't real deep, but I had to turn my sensitivity down. Up, you say? Down. Oh. I, I put it down to A, you know, average or whatever. It, it was so damn, uh, uh, some places it's, it's too strong. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you try... Everywhere I go, I get these damn things. Ha! See, the water's dirty here, look. You dig a hole, you can't see the hole, then you step right back in the hole, break your leg. Ah! Finally, an old button. Got no marks on it. None that I can see. Tsunami! Tsunami!
Ah, it's got off some now. It looks like it might have hit an old pier here or something. Well, Surf Church Roundup on the Intercoastal Waterway. That's the first time I've been back to this spot in probably at least well over 10 years it's kind of out of a way spot it's a long ways to get to that's probably the reason we don't go there much it used to be a big uh, I better not go there anyway it's on the intercoastal waterway We got lost, I shouldn't say we, I got lost going there and I had to take a detour. And the detour carried me close to uh, my buddy Stanley's house. I know you've seen Stanley in a lot of my videos. Well, when we got to his house, we, we stopped and talked to him for a while. And he gave us directions to where we were headed from where we were. And of course we ended up there okay. But the best of it might have been this button. It's an old flat button with no uh, identifying marks on it at all. There's a better picture of it, I think. But that was the only really cool thing and in the zipper pull that Keithy would find in Alaska. But the best of it is right here. These are what they call persimmons ripe persimmons. You cut these open, skin them, and they got a nice f sweet fruit inside. When I was a kid, I used to take them when they were green, like that color right there. Take them on a school bus and told my buddies they were apples, crab apples, to try one. They're the most bitterest, worst tasting things in the world when they're green. They will take your, I mean, you, it's unbelievable what happens to you when you're biting into one of them. <laughs> I had a hell of a time as a kid with these things. This is the first time I actually had any in, I'd say, a cool 50, 50 years. But he had a whole big tree full of them where he lives. Persimmons. Okay. So I said, oh, hello there, Mr. Mandui. What are you doing down here this morning? You a big carnivore? I'll check with y'all today. We're going somewhere this afternoon, I think. It's a beautiful day here today. I mean, not a ripple of wave anywhere. I think that's going to take us to the cave. At least it's going to take me to the cave. But the tide's not low till you know, 5 o'clock. I don't even have them in the late afternoon. So that's where I'm headed. To the cave. I hear a raccoon hunter just come in. Where you been hunting raccoons? You find any? <laughs> I'm waiting on the veterinary to call me now. They they want him to have a booster shot after his encounter. Okay, I'll check with you a little while. Take it easy. Good luck to everybody.